What is up, YouTube? Zine is right here. Today I have a video for you reviewing the Rapsol front and back for the uh, iPhone uh, 4 and 4S. This is a dry application, so this is going to be a nice product. So uh, we're going to be unboxing it, and the first thing we see in the package is uh, just this little pamphlet, I guess you could say. Uh, and inside that pamphlet, you have uh, two uh, front and back f screen protectors. So you have one for the front, one for the back, uh, obviously. Uh, next, you have the uh, manual to understand how to apply this. You probably want to read this because it is kind of tough to apply this. You will need to look at this to figure out how to apply it. It does get confusing at times, but it's all good. So uh, this is the uh, sides of the uh, protector. And this is a squeegee, kind of like cardboard, I guess you could say. And uh, after that, you have the, the uh, microfiber cloth. A uh, pretty basic one, I mean, as far as micro... Uh, microfiber cloths. It's just the same as other ones, really. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is wipe down your iPhone, uh, get rid of all that dust and grime and fingerprints, so you don't want it to show up under the screen protector when you apply it. Uh, then just uh, flip it over, I guess, and uh, keep wiping until you have uh, all that, all that dirt and all that stuff gone. So then now you're ready to apply it. So I'm just going to show you the first application of the side, and then after that, you guys can just watch uh, me going over each side after it's applied, because it does take quite a long time, so I'm just going to be showing you the first side being applied, and then after that, you guys are just going to watch each side after that. So the top was not that hard to apply. I mean, as far as it goes, it is kind of difficult, but it's not too hard in my opinion. Um, so that's how it's going to work. And uh, basically, that's what really happened. And then now the side is applied. That's next to the headphone jack. After that, you have the uh, one that goes down to the SIM card. Depending on the model, if you have an AT&T model, you'll need the, the SIM card cut out. If you have Verizon, they do have one that comes in the side of this package that is for uh, without a SIM card. And uh, none of the ports are really obstructed. It all works really nicely. Uh, it's all working really good. All the sides are covered. Uh, it goes all the way up to the... Uh, 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 what's it called? Volume rocker. It goes up to the volume rocker, and after that, it just stops and then continues going after that's done. None of the ports obstructed. Headphone jack, all that stuff is good. You can use all of it, so that's going to be good for uh, what you're doing. And um, that's it. So uh, what you have here is just that extra piece, depending on if you used it or not. This is for Verizon because they do not have a SIM card, so you'll put that on if you have a if you do not have a SIM card. Um, so now we're going to be applying the front of the screen protector. This is not that hard, but it is kind of annoying if you're trying to apply this and uh, you do not have any skill in this area because it's kind of hard at first because I did notice that it was it got really sticky. So uh, it's sticky, so it'll stick down, which is nice, but you don't want to get it stuck in the wrong area and then lift it back up because it does get annoying to lift it back up. Um, it is a little bit off when I do this, but... It's, uh, it should come out nice if you do this properly. I found that it's cut a little bit off, a little bit off, so it doesn't cover all of it. It, just cut, it, uh, it doesn't cover a couple millimeters on the left or the right, depending on where you put it, but it is overall covering the screen. I just found that it didn't cover some of the bezel, depending on how I placed it. Um, so you're going to want to take off that little protective film and pull off the tabs that they give you to lift it up. Once you pull off the tabs, uh, you're ready to use the front after you apply it. They do want you to apply the bl the back first, but it's okay. Uh, you can apply either one. Uh, they just wanted you to do the back first, but it doesn't really matter. So you want to use that squeegee, and I found that these bubbles are pretty horrendous. Uh, these bubbles do not come out easily at all. I mean, uh, they just stay there. Uh, they do claim that uh, on their packaging that... Uh, they have an active air release, which will uh, release the bubbles within 24 hours, depending on their size. Um, so that's really what uh, it goes on for about uh, air bubbles. Uh, the sides, after applying them, they do feel kind of weird because, after all, it's brand new. Uh, it does feel different than using a regular iPhone. But then again, you're going to get used to it. Uh, they do feel kind of rough, so it's kind of annoying when you have to deal with that. But you'll get adjusted to it after you wear, uh, use it for a long time. Uh, air bubbles, as I said, not the easiest thing to deal with. Uh, they do get slightly frustrating in this situation because it's kind of hard to uh, get them out, specifically with this cover because it's so it just covers everything. So you're gonna want to uh, 
carefully apply this. Uh, not the way I applied it, but uh, you may want to apply it, and as you're applying it, squeegee it down uh, if that helps for you in that situation. But that's basically it for uh, the cover of the protector and all that stuff about Ravsol and their uh, ultra front and back. Uh, I did test out the Mickey. Uh, if you guys are wondering, I did test out the Mickey in the airport by Trexta. I, tre I tested that out, and it works pretty nice. It's a pretty nice travel case. Um, as far as that goes, um, pretty inclusive uh, case slash cover, whatever you want to call it. I'd say it's kind of like a case because it does cover all around. So uh, you could kind of consider this as a really thin case because it covers everything, really. Um, it doubles. It really covers everything. Uh, screen usage is fine. Cameras are working uh, great. It does not obstruct them. You're not going to have any problems with the flash or anything as other companies have experienced. Um, cutouts for the camera are pretty wide, so you will not have any problem getting it on there. Um, front and back, as I said, working. So with that, guys, uh, please go check out Rapsol's link. I have it in the description down below. Uh, you'll be able to go check it out, purchase it, look at it. They have a bunch of different ones. So uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. As always, guys, peace. And another thing, uh, please thumbs up this video because, you know, thumbs up is cool.